Hello, my name is Sean Copeland and I'm Chairman and CEO of Regent Bank and welcome back to Regent Elevate and today we're going to continue our series on seven signs of a successful leader and this is our relaunch series. This is where we want to try to encourage and motivate our leaders to get back out there and to begin leading and to, and to restart us now that we are into 2021. Last time we talked about how successful leaders are not paralyzed by perfection. They make quick decisions, they get as much data as they can, and they keep the organization moving forward. Today we're going to talk about the fact that successful leaders desire healthy debate over harmony. Now this is very interesting. When a new executive joins uh, Regent Bank and we had a new Springfield market president recently, we've had a new HR director join our uh, executive team. Every time they do, they are shocked at the discord that occurs at our executive team meetings. We are brutally honest. We are very open with each other. We, you know, you're, you're not even thinking about the other person's feelings because we've been together a long time. Everybody knows that they can trust each other. They know that we're only trying to do what's best for the organization and uh, so they don't get their feelings hurt. But if you're new, it can almost look like insubordination. People are calling me out, you know, making, you know, making me uh, saying my facts aren't right or whatever. I love that. And I think what happens in great organizations is you have this very healthy debate, but at the end of the day, once the team makes the decision, you lock hands, and when you walk out of that room, you are unified. And the only way that this can occur is if we all know we have the right motive, okay? I'm not calling you out to try to make you look bad. I'm not calling you out because I want your job. I'm not calling you out because I don't like you. I'm calling you out because I simply do not agree with what you're saying for the future of the organization. Now, the flip side is many organizations experience, um, you know, where they all uh, unanimous consent. They want everybody to agree. They want perfect harmony. They want, or you'll have a scenario where the head of the organization is autocratic. They make all the decisions and nobody is comfortable challenging them. Those are not good ways to run a company. You don't make good decisions that way. You don't get the full benefit of the intelligence of the team. Allowing healthy debate and disc discourse is much, much better way to uh, lead the organization and take it to the other level. So next time we're going to talk about how successful leaders uh, are vulnerable. They do not pretend that they have all the answers. And this is a great one for me to share because I really don't have very many answers. So I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for joining us.